guys, there's been a change of plans with the cone metal trees, okay? I want to hurry up and get this done, but I also want them to look nice. Gluing the individual balls to this wreath form is going to be very tedious. And I, I just, I, I, I just can't, I can't do it. So this is what I have decided to do. Let me turn you around and show you. Okay, so I'm going to cover these wreath forms with this Dollar Tree garland. I'm going to cover them full. I'm using hot glue to um, make sure it stays in place. And then I'm going to take them outside and spray paint them black. I don't, I'm not going to put that on camera. You, you guys get the gist of it with the spray paint. And then I'm going to attach the vase filler and some acrylic gemstones to it once it is dry and painted black. Just wanted to give you that update. So I'm going to glue these into place. And yeah, that's my compromise. So I put, I put some glue to the top to attach it. And then as I turn, I'll put a little glue to hold um, it in place. This is a very tedious project, guys. It really is. But I have no doubt that it's gonna be beautiful. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Just putting a little glue, not a lot, but I just want to hold it in place. I don't want it sliding down. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Okay, first tree is completed. I'm going to do the second one, which is smaller, and then they'll be ready to spray paint. Just stick with me on this process. I know it may look crazy, but just stick with me. Okay, so both trees are ready to go outside and get spray painted black. I'm not worried about the brown showing from the garland because it's going to be spray painted completely black. And I do have more of these wreath forms. So maybe next year, being that a lot of the things that I'm making this year will already be made. So maybe I'll have the stamina and the desire to try individually blinging out these wreath forms but it just is very tedious to hand glue each one of those vase fillers to um these and these i think would be great to put outside or even all around your house and decorate them with traditional christmas colors like i have the kitchen is traditional christmas which i do like but i just didn't want traditional christmas in my living room area that's black and gold so yeah these are ready to be spray painted and then decorated. Okay, the trees are spray painted. I'm going to leave them outside to dry all day. And um, once they're dry, I'll be able to see if I need to do a second coat. I'm seeing some areas that I need to touch up. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do that now or a little bit later, but I'm going to let these dry for 24 hours before I decorate them. Okay, so here we are, here are the trees. This process actually took two days because I had to do a second coat. Um, not only that, I wanted them to air dry outside um, so they wouldn't smell. Here are my supplies. I'm using the vase filler from Dollar Tree, the acrylic gems. I have everything laid out here and I'm gonna start placing them. This is a tedious process, so we will speed through. Um, you guys get the gist of it. I'm going to be periodically placing um, the vase fillers, the acrylic gems, and sporadically throwing in a um, ornament. They're different sizes, so I'm going to place them, to try to place them where um, I might have to hold it down a little bit just to make sure that it's actually stuck to the tree. Be very careful when you're dealing with these small pieces because I burned myself a couple of times. Um, but placing them where it's, you know, a mixture of color and also size, I'm going to put the smaller ones uh, towards the top. Um, I do have a topper for these. 
So I really um, should put that on just so I don't decorate in areas that the tree topper is going to be covered, covering. And these vase fillers go a long way. You, you get, I think, 116 pieces in each pack. I bought four packs. I do not think I'm going to use four packs, but um, I could also put those up for last year because I had a hard time finding them this year. So I'm placing an acrylic gem. And the things with heavier weight, you really have to hold in place just to make sure that it is stuck to the tree and won't fall off. Um, but I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. And I still have a little bit of vase filler left, so I didn't use a lot of stuff. But we're going to get started on the little tree, and it's the same process. Okay, the same process is going to continue with the mini tree. We have our supplies ready. Hot glue is gun is ready to go, and it's the same thing. I'm not going to record a whole lot on this step because you've seen me do it already for the big tree but what i wanted to tell you guys if you guys don't have this um 
the wire cone wreath form at your Dollar Tree, okay? Because I haven't seen it this year at all. I got these last year. And I do have a few more because I was going to use these for this year's craft and sip, possibly. Um, the tinsel trees that Dollar Tree sells, they're not this size. They are smaller, but I don't see why you can't spray paint this because this fake green garland from Dollar Tree, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's tinsel. So you can spray paint it a different color if you want, or maybe take the tinsel off that's already on it and then cover it with the green tinsel if you wanted to do a traditional tree look. That's just an idea if you wanted to recreate these, if you can't find the uh, wire wreath forms, which again, maybe you have. I've seen some wreath forms out there this year that I haven't seen at all. So anything is possible. You know, you may have them by you. But I've seen some holiday wreath forms that have not made it to my local Dollar Trees in my area. But they got a huge truck today. I mean, massive. Um, i seen the lanterns. But I'm over it. I'm happy with the one white one that I have. And you'll see how I, I did a little DIY transformation with that one. But basically, I'm just sticking these periodically, and we're going to go 365 around the whole perimeter of the tree, adding uh, gemstones here and there, as well as the uh, mini ornaments. These you kind of got to hold in place just to make sure that they're stuck because they're a little bit heavier as well as the uh, bowl ornaments. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other tree and get ready for the reveal. We're going to sp skip this process and let's just get into the reveal. Okay guys, here they are. Very, very tedious, very, very messy. I burned myself several times. I got a little, you can see the hot glue there. I'm gonna paint that black so it blends out. That was just to keep the star in place. Being that I see the way that one dried, I'm not gonna do that to this one, but um, yeah, they're finally completed. These are my cone trees. I'm very, very happy with them. I think they look great next to the reindeer. Another project checked off my list. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. To my existing cyber family members, I love you. Thank you for coming back. And don't forget to follow me on IG at Dollar Tree Queen 76